What to do if a cop pulls you over? Begin recording immediately. Always keep your hands in an area where the cop can see them and let him know you're recording right away. Don't panic and don't make any sudden movements. They may ask you to step out of the vehicle. If you decide to step out of the vehicle, close the door behind you. Let the cop know you do not consent to any searches. Now invoke your Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. Shh. Shh. What to do? So I played that just to show you guys, like, you know, when they say you get pulled over, you know, they're kind of telling you what you should and shouldn't do. You know, sometimes you see people, they kind of just like wild out. They lose their mind. They go nuts. Right. Uh, here's another example. Watch this. You can clearly see that there's a license plate because there's nothing else that you could pull me over for. No license plate. Yes, there is. No, there isn't. Yes, there is. Well, when we're done and putting you in handcuffs, I will show you. This what point, law did I break? You are not what a law? Law? Oh, law. Shut law up and record this. What Eight. law did I break? We are requiring what you. What law did I'm I break? I'm you. I didn't break no law. Give us your ID. What law did I break? No front license plates. And now what did I break? Now. That's against the law? Do you want to hear me? Is that against do the law? Do you want to hear me or do you not No, it's not against the law. Do you want to hear me or do you want to argue? Because if I get out of my car, I'm going to see a front license plate. If I get out of my car, I'm going to see a front license plate. Do you want to hear me or do you want to argue? Is your body cam on? Yes, it is. Is yours on? Yes, do you want to hear us or no, do you want to I argue? want to know why you pulled me over. No front license. How could you see that if you was on the side of me? You ready to listen now? You can clearly see that. So let me stop you here. The point of this video is I've done, I don't know, three, four, maybe five videos on this. Agree with that adversaries quickly. You see videos where there are people explaining if you get put up by the cops, you do this and this and this. You see this lady going back and forth. Let, let, let me show you guys something really quick if I can find it. I want you guys to pay attention to this video. Open the door slowly and step out. Get out of the car now. Yo, what? Guess what? I'm a brother too. I'm going to obey. Get out of the car. Keep your hands outside the window. My hands are right here. What's going on? Get out of the car now. Get out of the car. What's now. going on? Get out of the car now. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly afraid to get out. Can I, yeah, dude, I, you should be. Get out. Get out. Get out the car. Get out now. You're being stopped by a traffic violation. You're not cooperating at this point right now. You're under arrest for, you're being detained, okay? You're being detained for obstruction of justice. I'm actively serving this country, and this is how you're going to treat me? I didn't do anything. Whoa, hold on. What's going on? Hold on. Hold on. Watch it. Watch it. Get out of the car. Get out of the car now. Get out of the car. Get out of the car now. What are you, a specialist, Corporal? What are you? I'm a lieutenant. Lieutenant, get out of the car. Take your seatbelt off and get out of the car. You made this way more difficult than it had to be. You just complied. Oh, this is fucked up. Sir, they flat. They flat. This is fucked up. I can't fucking believe I'm being treated like this. And I'm fucking get on the ground. Wrong. Get on the ground. So, with that being said, you see these videos. With these guys in these situations, it does not matter. It is the same statement I keep saying over and over and over. Agree with thy adversaries quickly. People are going through all of these long rants. You have the right to do this and this. You don't have to do this. Let me let me say this. We see so many videos with so-called blacks in situations where they get hurt or they get killed for whatever reason, because they may feel that they can do certain things that other people get away with. It, that doesn't apply to you. This guy that you just saw in this video was in the was in the military. He had on a military suit. And guess what? He got pepper sprayed and he was on the ground. And, the, you know, if you watch the rest of the video, you can see him. He's like in tears and 
he's feeling like so crappy. I believe that guy went to court and he sued the police station or whatever. And I think he ended up getting like thirty five hundred dollars for all that embarrassment. And he's lucky to have his life. Now, I'm going to show you guys another video. Family members are calling it murder. The fatal police shooting of a double amputee who witnesses say tried to get away from officers in Huntington Park. Police say 36-year-old Anthony Lowe had just stabbed a man and then tried to throw a 12-inch butcher knife at officers. His family says Lowe was experiencing a mental health crisis and didn't deserve to die. Tonight, they are demanding justice and accountability. Mary Beth McDade, live in Hollywood, with more on the shooting and the investigation. Mary Beth. Well, Mike and Jared, family members say that he couldn't have been a threat, that he was an amputee in a wheelchair. However, officers say that they tried to detain him and do that by using their taser twice on him. However, they say it had no effect and he still tried to throw his butcher knife at them, and that's when they opened fire. This hurts! This hurts! And we have these wonderful people here to help support us, all races! Grieving family members of 36-year-old Anthony Lowe stood in front of Huntington Park Police Department calling for justice. I just want the truth, nothing but the truth, and justice for my son. My son was murdered. L.A. County Sheriff investigators say Huntington Park Police responded to a stabbing call last Thursday afternoon. When they arrived, they saw Lowe, the stabbing suspect, who was also a double amputee, armed with a large butcher knife in his hand. They say he was out of his wheelchair and walking on his remaining limbs in the 1900 block of Slauson. Authorities say officers tried to detain Lowe, but he threatened... Can you guys see that knife in his hand? See that? See that long, big... Um... He has a long, it looks like a machete or something. He armed with a large butcher knife in his hand. They say he was out of his wheelchair and walking on his remaining limbs in the 1900 block of Slauson. Authorities say officers tried to detain Lowe, but he threatened them with the knife. Officers attempted to use their taser on him twice, but they say it was ineffective. Officers claim Lowe once again attempted to throw the butcher knife at them, resulting in an officer-involved shooting. Lowe was pronounced dead at the scene. This is a man. So this is a sad situation. I'm definitely never, ever going to justify someone getting killed. The point and the message of this is you see these videos where people are getting pulled over by the cops. Whether you're in the military, whether you're in a wheelchair, it does not matter. At the end of the day, your mission, as I stated in previous videos, should be self-preservation to get home to your family and loved ones. It does not matter. The military guy, the brother that was in the military uniform, he got pepper sprayed. We've seen guys get blew away for reaching for their wallet. We understand that this man was in a wheelchair. He didn't have legs, but he was swinging a knife. Looked like a machete or something at the police. What do you think the police is going to do to you? And again, let me be very clear. I'm not on his side. I'm not taking sides. I'm, my point of what I'm saying is, is if the police pull you over, if they ask you to do something, do it. They have a gun. You don't. You are behind the eight ball. Matthew 5, 25. Agree with thy adversaries quickly while thou art in the way with him. At least at any time the adversary delivered thee to the judge and the judge delivered thee to the officer and thou be cast into prison. And I'll add to that, not this verse, but I'll add this statement to say, you might not even make it to prison. You probably make it to the grave. People, please, if the cops pulls you over, please, just do as they say. And even still, they can take you out. But don't give them a reason to justify your killing. That's all I'm saying. This is Ariana Brother, One Love, Shalom.